Voila, you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood reaction video. I only get to say that one more time, you know. One more time. One more time. We're on episode 63 and there's only 64 episodes, which means the next episode after today will be our last reaction to the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood series and we will be finishing this anime. If you guys are stuck with me for this journey, thank you so much for supporting my journey on this. Thank you so much for joining here. Just thank you so much for being awesome. You guys have been freaking amazing. The, the support and feedback on this on this reaction journey has been incredible, and I love you guys. Anyone who's liked the video, subscribed, shared them, I, I can't be a YouTuber without all of you, so thank you so much. Right, the other question I've got before we jump into this, what's the deal with the bloopers? Why is why do I see the bloopers recommended like a hundred times in every single reaction I do? What's going on there? What do you, what, what, what's, what's that about? And also, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, Let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 63. Don't you even want freedom? Hohenheim? Are you going to live out the rest of your life as a slave without the rights of a real man? In that case, you're no different from me, trapped inside this stuffy flask. You got like a flashback or something? What's this about? I don't understand! Alright! Clobber that bastard! How can this happen when I've absorbed God? How can a mere human, a meager alchemist, with his bare hands? Come even after all this time, people are still calling Ed a little runt. I mean, he is. But still, like, come on, man, he's saving the day. Give the guy a break. <laughs> calling Ed a runt is like <laughs> calling Ed a runt is that you like saying Bloody Mary in the mirror. <laughs> This, this is why I love greed. Like, like I went from loving Li, uh, Ling to like, like just tolerating greed to loving greed. Like greed, even in this moment, saved the soldier, yelled at the soldier, is constantly saving the damn day. And now when Ling is trying to save greed, greed's just saying, let go, save yourself. You're not strong enough and I don't want you to get sucked in with me. Greed is a fucking legend. My body! I won't let go! You know, it's not quite as ideal as being king of the world, but I can make do with Emperor of Xing. Let's fight him together! Hey, partner! That's more like it! <laughs> what are you? It's time to say goodbye, kid. There's no point in you getting sucked into my old man with me. Hold on a second, Greed! You just told me we'd fight together! Didn't you? You can't just sucker punch me like that! How could you lie? You always said you don't believe in telling lies! It can't end this way! Ha <laughs> ha you fell for it! Hook, line, and sinker, you little pissant! That was the one and only lie of my life. 
Lawn has a philosopher's stone. So you don't even need me anymore, kid. But I do. <laughs> wait, wait. No, wait! Don't do this! Hey! Lawn Fawn! Later. Oh. Wait, no! Oh. No, Greed! How could you? Greed! <laughs> I finally got away from that annoying brat! Why, Greed? Why would you betray your own father? I've always had a rebellious streak, Pops. Don't act so surprised. I've reversed the ultimate shield you gave me and transformed your body into the most fragile carbon there is! You crafty devil! Be gone, fool! Return to nothing! Great! Oh, damn it. It looks like this is the end. I could do without that pitiful look right now, you pisshead. <laughs> You're wrong, Greed! They'll always be a part of you! Friends are a part of your soul! And why don't you team up with us? You've got nothing. Why not come with us? <laughs> I can't believe I let Ling and the little runt talk to me that way. That's all I really need. They gave me everything I could want. <laughs> Thank you. And goodbye, my friends. It's annoying because it makes sense from like a writing and a story point of view it makes sense for the homunculi not to survive <clears throat> it makes sense you know all of what father's done gets undone it makes sense which is why i'm kind of worried about the uh, hohenheim but god damn it man could they not just just greed i guess the only comfort we can find is that Greed found comfort in the end. I really like Greed. Huh? 
exist. feel like if you go, let's look at this from some sort of like different perspective let's look at it like you land on an alien planet you then decide to sacrifice all of the population on that alien planet kill them all to pursue your own knowledge and capture god and then when you're caught up on your bullshit the first question you ask is what did i do wrong All right. You simply must have seen the answer with your own eyes. What happened? Is it over? Did we win? Yes, sir. Although, Alphonse hasn't returned from the other side. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, mate. It was Al's decision. Ed, I've got the toll for him. Take it. It's a Philosopher's Stone. Use it to bring him back. I can't. As much as I want to, I can't. I promised Al we'd never use a Philosopher's Stone. to be a way to get him back. There's gotta be. Think, damn it. Think it through. Just keep thinking. Edward. <laughs> Use my life for the toll. Use me to save Alphonse. I've got just enough life left. <laughs> no way! I could never do that, you dumbass! This doesn't have anything to do with you! It's our own damn fault! I won't use another human life to get Al back, and I don't care whose it is! Why should you sacrifice your life for our mistake? Because I'm his father. <laughs> and that's the only thing that matters. You don't know how much you boys mean to me, and I just want you to be happy. <laughs> and I do bear some responsibility for this. This might not have happened if I'd just been there for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ed. I've lived long enough. Just give me this chance to act like a father for once in my life. <laughs> Please, don't do this. Just give us the happy ending. You know, we've completed all the side quests, we've made all the right choices and options. It's a happy ending time. Just, Ed, be like, you know what? I had this conversation with Al off screen. Uh, I don't know if the cameras caught it. And we said that we were fine with using a Philosopher's Stone. I'll take that Ling. Al is back. And now let's all go have a happy family pie at Winry and Granny's house. And then some nice music plays. Don't do this to me. Come on. <laughs> Shut up, you rotten father! You say something that dumb again, and I'll knock you out! <laughs> I'm 
sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> now think! Come on! You're the youngest state alchemist in history, damn it! You've even passed through your own portal of truth so you can transfuse with your bare hands! There's gotta be some way! There has to be! You better get to it. You've got plenty of people waiting for you and your brother to get your bodies back. If you believe the possibility exists, then you should do whatever it takes. Exactly. I can't give up. There has to be some way. I know it! I know there is! his nails one hand had his nails growing one didn't I didn't realize she cared so deeply for Al Zampano Mr. Gorilla Mr. Gorilla the Briggs soldiers the Major Lon Fun Lang Teacher our father May, stand back a little. Transmutation circle. I'll be back in a few minutes. This is my last transmutation. Stand back and enjoy the show. Stop it! Elric! No, I'm with Elric. Full Metal Alchemist. How is going on, man? Full metal alchemist. Why is why is their mother there? I take it you're here to retrieve your brother. Just how do you plan on pulling an entire human out of here? What's your payment? Do you intend to offer your own body? <laughs> yeah, I've got your payment right here. So go ahead and take it. This thing is my portal of truth. So I get to make the decision on how it's used. Is that right? <laughs> it's come to that. <laughs> and you're sure about this? You do realize that you'll never be able to perform alchemy again without your portal. I'm aware of that. This portal. I know it contains every secret alchemy has to offer. However, it's also led me astray. I saw the truth that lies within it, and I became convinced I could solve everything with alchemy. The truth within the truth. The truth that lies within the truth? The truth being this person? But I couldn't possibly have been one. more wrong. That was just arrogance. You're willing to cast it aside? To lower yourself to a simple human? What do you mean, lower myself? That's the only thing I've ever been. Just a simple human that couldn't save a little girl. Not even with alchemy. You're sure you'll be alright without it? Think carefully now. Edward! 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 Who even needs alchemy, when I've got them? <laughs> You've done it! That's, That's the, the right, right answer! <laughs> Good job! You beat me! Go ahead! Take him home! The back 
door's right over there! Goodbye, Edward Elric! What the hell? That was crazy, Al. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Now let's go home. Together. He's waking up! How are you feeling? You okay? Zampano... and Darius... you're all here. <gasps> Dad! Hey, welcome back. <clears throat> Home at last. <clears throat> it's so warm. <laughs> I bet. Sorry. It was wrong of me to put you through that. It's okay now. Thank you. You're listening to Radio Capital. To conclude our coverage of today's events, General Armstrong and Colonel Mustang have taken control of Central Command and successfully halted the military coup d'etat perpetrated by the senior staff. The coup was centered around an alchemic procedure which would have sacrificed the nation's population. Details of the procedure have yet to be released, but General Kremen and General Edison have been apprehended as the two lead conspirators. All of their opposing forces have now been disarmed. Our Fuhrer, King Bradley, and his son Selene tragically lost their lives amidst the day's turmoil. Colonel Mustang released an official statement that he would carry on with the Fuhrer's wishes and that he would personally oversee all matters of national security. You are the one who gave me blood, right? Don't you even want freedom? Hohenheim? Okay, then. What is it that makes you happy? Well... I'd hate to be guilty of asking too much, but I think I'd be happy if I could just leave this flask. You were born of my blood, dwarf in the flask, homunculus. In the end, you and I were still as one. And I'm... Mr. Hohenheim. I personally saw to it that your sons were admitted to the hospital. Thank you. I'm grateful for your help. Nonsense. I am the one who is truly grateful. We are all in debt to the efforts of Edward and Alphonse. Without those boys' relentless courage, this nation would be no more. Ah, oh, I gotta pause it, man. I gotta pause it. Ugh. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> how's there one more episode? This feels like the end. <laughs> I'm interested to see what the hell happens next episode. This has been one emotional roller coaster, you know? Woo! Ed and Al spent <laughs> the entire course of this anime. Trying to get their bodies back. I guess I just never actually believed they'd do it. <sighs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.
She's 26. Hello, Trisha. I'm home. <laughs> so get this. Ed actually called me his father. Although he did preface it with rotten. Mm -hmm. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you Living fucking through dare. All of these endless years, I always felt like I'd been struck with a curse. But then I found you and we had our sons. And I suddenly felt blessed, grateful for the life I had. I've had a fulfilling life. Thanks to you, it's been enough. Thank you, Trisha. But now, believe it or not, I actually want to keep on living. I guess I'm pretty hopeless. He didn't even say goodbye to the Trisha. his sons, man. Don't do this. He didn't say goodbye to Ed and Al. Hohenheim. I didn't know you were back. <gasps> Silly old fool. Well, at least you died with a smile on your face, my friend. I'll have to... I'll have to do my audio trick for the outro. I just pausing myself to remind myself to switch it on. There's no such It's hard not to um It's hard not to feel this I know it's silly I know it is but as a father of two sons, it's hard not to feel it. It was... It was the sentence where he said, and after all this, he wants to keep on living. When I, um... When I became like a dad, I realised how valuable my life was, and before that, it's strange, you sort of don't value your life as much as you should. Becoming a parent, I realised how important it was. That I'm here for them. That I, And it made me terrified of doing anything, anything extreme, anything. It's like, I've got to protect my life, because my life is important until they're old enough to, like, survive on their own. The idea of not getting as much possible time with my sons as I can, of not living till being old and grey and watching them grow up and have kids of their own, is the most terrifying thing in the world to me. So Hohenheim at the end, saying that he wishes he could keep living, hit like a truck.
This was... This was heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. <sighs> we have one more episode left. I'm guessing it's just the roundup of the story and the conclusion. You know. Ed and now have got their bodies back. They don't know their father's gone. I guess the main thing I'm, I was upset about was him not saying goodbye to his sons. Maybe he just didn't have time. I don't know. Ed and Al are back. May seems to be obsessed with Al. I wonder if when like May grows up and, and Al grows up and they're both adults, if there'll be some sort of, like, I don't know, relationship down the line. I've never mentioned it before because it seems weird because they're both quite young. Um, but in the future, you never know. I didn't realize May liked him as much. Well, I, I you know what? I, I don't think it properly sunk in until then. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. Give myself a little bit of time to recover. I hope you've all enjoyed these reactions. I'll do a proper round out next episode. I've really enjoyed watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood with you all. It's been a lot of fun and I'm glad I got to watch this anime. Thank you very much for, for joining me on this journey. Our road to 400,000 subscribers. How some random dude in an attic got 350,000 subs. There's nothing special about me. I don't think I deserve it. Anyway, I love you wonderful people. Have an amazing day. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, my friends, you will see me.